So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to take a look at light fall off in Cinema 4D. And um, I've recently upgraded to uh, Cinema 4D version 15. And it shouldn't make a huge difference if you're on uh, version 14. Everything's uh, still pretty much in the same place. But um, Cinema 4D 15 has some huge rendering improvements in the viewport and uh, general rendering. Sometimes up to like 400% faster. So I definitely recommend this version of Cinema 4D. But uh, just moving on with the tutorial, um, I'm going to start off by creating a light and I'm going to make this an Omni light, it's already set to Omni by default. And I'm just going to move it out here, just have a look in the top view. Okay. So um, usually when you create a light, it pretty much um, it's like an infinite light. There's no fall off. So fall off is basically when a light kind of loses energy, the kind of further out it spreads, which is realistic. So uh, by default, these lights aren't very uh, realistic. So um, I'm just going to hit Alt R to bring up my interactive render. And as you can see, in version 15, everything renders uh, pretty fast considering that's a kind of full uh, settings. So anyway, I'm gonna go to my details tab here and I'm gonna enable fall off. And first I'm gonna choose inverse square physically accurate. And this is basically, um, as the name states, it is kind of physically accurate. It's a very realistic type of fall off. And um, if I just let it render, you can now see the light kind of lose energy towards um, if we look at this wall here and um, we've got this radius decay option and that's basically linked to this gizmo here so you can either uh, adjust the radius here or you can pull on these kind of orange points and, and you can adjust it manually and I'm actually going to increase the intensity just to kind of exaggerate the effect a bit more. So you can see over here it's very dark and here it's very light. And if we get really close to a kind of object, as you can see, it gets really, really bright. It pretty much acts like a real light would, which is good. And um, I'm just gonna turn on shadows here, just some soft shadows. So we can see the effect kind of slightly better. And those shadows are a bit strong, so I'm just going to reduce the density maybe. So anyway, next uh, we've got linear fall off. And this isn't actually kind of very accurate, but, you know, it's still good uh, for kind of stylized effects. And that is strange. I think basically, um, yeah, as you can see, the light is way over here and we, we'd have to significantly increase this kind of uh, gizmo, the fall off uh, radius before we start to see an effect. And as you can see it's quite sharp, it's not very subtle. And um, next on the list we've got a uh, step and this is really exaggerated, uh, almost kind of cartoony. If you watch here the fall off basically happens instantly like that. So um, I guess it could work good in a kind of cartoon cell shaded situation. But 99% uh, of the time you, you just want to stick with inverse square physically accurate. So they all have very different kind of uh, behaviors as you can see. And um, we've also got the Z direction only option which is kind of strange. It basically means the light only casts along the positive Z direction. I mean, the fall off only happens along that direction. Um, I personally can't find many uses for it, but uh, the option is there. And it does change the behavior slightly. And uh, probably a more useful option is this use gradient here. And it just allows us to tint the kind of fall off so um, just to show off the effect, I could start off the fall off kind of an orange, warm kind of orange color and then cool it as it kind of spreads. So like a blue color on the outer uh, rim. <clears throat> so 
so yeah basically um, it's kind of starting off really orange and then it's becoming cooler if you look at this wall over here it gets kind of bluer as it travels I she might just enlarge this just to show the full effect So there, that's better. So as you can see, it's kind of like an orange uh, to start off with, and then it gets bluer on the kind of outer edges. So that's a quick look at uh, the different light fall off options. Um, I hope you found that tutorial useful, and uh, thanks for watching.